Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're continuing the IGCC higher paper series doing question 22. And we've got to simplify fully this cubic over a quadratic. Now we're going to take out a common factor of x in the numerator. And then notice that the denominator is a difference of two squares because 5 times 5 is 25 and 2x times 2x is 4x squared. If I change those signs, the middle x's would cancel. Then I'm going to have to try and factorize that and hope that one of those factors will be either that one or that one to simplify it. So let's look at this. Now, I learned this method thanks to Mrs. Carter, where I put the first term and then the last term, and then I create the two brackets. And remember, when you expand it by FOIL, the outer terms and then the inner terms, and then the, the last and the, um, and the middle, it's going to have to be cross-multiplied because this term would multiply that term. Now, x, 6x squared, it could be 6 and 1, but I'm going to try 3x and 2x, a bit of trial and error. Now, I want to end up with minus 13x. If I notice I had put the 5 there, 3 times 5 would be 15. 2 times 1 would give me 2x. Make sure I get my signs right. I want it to be, um, sorry, actually positive 13x squared. So I want that one to be positive and that one to be negative. So my two brackets should be 3x minus 1 and 2x plus 5. And that matches what happens in the denominator. So now I'll write this again. x times 3x minus 1 times 2x plus 5 over 2x plus 5 times 2x minus 5. That will cancel with that, and I'll be left with 3x squared minus x all over 2x minus 5. Now, some students and some teachers prefer the method of grouping. We multiply the 6 by the 5, and you get 30, and you find two factors that sum to 13 and multiply to 30. But that's uh, another technique. This is the one that I prefer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and continue watching this international higher paper series.